Hi there folks, it's Jonathan Denwood here from WP Tonic and in this video I'm going to be talking what are some of the best solutions for video conference calls. If you're a coach, if you're a trainer, if you are into group um, promotion um, through your website, through a membership website, for a community website, this is an important subject. Um, I think I've got some in really insightful tips and insights for you. I will be back in a few moments, folks. Right, folks, so what are some of the best video conference choices? Well, first of all, I've written a really detailed um, article. you find the link in the supporting um, video show notes underneath that goes into this in a lot of detail. But I'm going to really, in this video, discuss two to three really important things that you've got to understand. Number one is the biggest um, player in this, which is um, at the present moment probably Zoom. Um, Zoom, the free product, or especially the next product up, the pro product, you can have up to, I think it's up to 50 people as part of your video conference call. Um, also, there's a couple really very popular WordPress plugins that you can utilize to embed the conference call onto a Pacific website page. It's extremely popular. But in the 1st of June, um, Zoom is going to a OAuth um, setup. OAuth is a, a technology that is around, um, how to put this, um, increasing the security of people's usernames and passwords. It's a great technology. Um, it will make um, the way that Zoom um, utilizes your username and password in the core application a lot more secure. Unfortunately, it does mean setting up Zoom so you can utilize it on your website, WordPress or one of the other um, popular platforms like Shopify, Squarespace, is going to become a little bit more difficult um, you're going to have to set up what is called a Zoom app. Um, you're going to have to deal with an OAuth um, key, a secret key. Um, there's other parts of it. Um, it just basically, you're going to have to jump through some more loops to be able to utilize it. Now, um, Zoom and on YouTube and online in general, there's some great resources there to tell you how to set this up. Um, in some ways, I don't think Zoom has done a good enough um, outreach to really explain the changes. Um, I think it's going to cause quite a few... Um, the other thing I've got to point out, this if you already got this set up, you've got over a year before you're going to have to change the setup. Um, this own, this 1st of June only applies if you're somebody um, that's trying to set that, this up new. Uh, so if you're utilising the, the existing platform, you've got about a year before you're going to have to do something. But there are... Um, some really great open source and other platform solution solutions there. One one of um, the drawbacks about utilizing Zoom is that um, it's a very reputable company though. Is that it's a it's a downloadable app. You you the for the person to be able to utilize the conference call, they're going to have to download the app. Um, obviously, Zoom offers it on all the leading platforms, desktop, Windows, Mac, Linux, I think they offer it, uh, iOS, iOS, Android, all the leading players, Zoom offers uh, application, but you still have to download it. You still um, have to get it onto your PC, your Mac, whatever you're going to utilize. 
And you've got to understand the rudimentaries of running a Zoom call. Obviously, after COVID, most people um, in business or have been exposed to utilising video conferencing to a much higher level than before the pandemic and COVID-19. But it's still there. It is still a slight barrier. Um, some of the other leading players, um, they utilise the conference call through the browser. Um, basically, you just get a link or you can embed it on the website and you can send the link through email to those that are going to anticipate you either into an individual video call or um, a group call. And they click the link and basically um, the conference call will be done through the browser, through the website or through the browser in general. Um, that tends to decrease the friction in actually running the conference call. Um, on the other hand, that can cause some slight problems if the person's utilising outdated browser uh, a lot of the browser um competitors uh to zoom um they recommend utilizing chrome um it, it can cause some slight difficulties in its own right i also found that um the audio drivers and even the video depending on what device you're utilizing um to join the video call through the browser can be a little bit more fickle than what Zoom. Zoom offers some rock solid drivers and they cover most um, webcams and other devices. Um, obviously, um, Skype was a major player in this until it was bought by uh, Microsoft. Microsoft's got its own app um, based competitor. Um, to Zoom, which is Team. Um, if you're inside the Microsoft ecosystem, you're using, utilizing Outlook, you're utilizing Word, your Windows um, machine um, in the corporate world, probably. Um, team, you're going to love Team because it's free. If you're outside those parameters, you know, uh, a more um, non-corporate individual or your Mac base or you're utilizing Android, my experience of utilizing Team is is not so great. Um, it, also, scheduling, it does they do offer a reasonably effective scheduling with Google, but I wouldn't say it is so robust as it as it works with Outlook. That's not a big surprise, is it? Um, so there, I've given you a taste of some of the um, decisions you've got to make. And obviously, I thought it was relevant to make this video because of the 1st of June and afterwards, because um, I know a lot of people in the coaching, in the video conferencing around community websites like Buddy Boss or Kajabi, um, if you're in the area of training, they utilize video conferencing calls one-to-one -one or with groups quite a lot. So um, knowing about these changes is quite important. Hopefully you found this video really important, helpful. Um, if you did, give us a thumbs up. And really, really, if you're um, generous, please subscribe to the channel because that's the main thing that um, YouTube and Google is looking for. So subscribe to the channel and you will get more of these videos in the future, which I hopefully you found really useful. I'll see you soon, folks. Bye.